folks, this is Chris Voss from the thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. If you love photography as much as I do, and a lot of people have really been awakened to photography by Instagram and other different apps that uh, are out there, this is the new iPad app for the website 500px.com. That's 500px.com. There'll be a link below this video. Um, what's really awesome about 500px.com is a lot of photographers have been have been streaming to it lately. It's more intuitive than Flickr when it comes to browsing video, uh, browsing pictures, and uh, looking through them. Uh, there seems to be a very professional acumen of people that are posting there, uh, and just some great stuff. Now, this is the iPad app that you can find on the iPad, and uh, basically you download and put it on. Now, I'm going to show you what's really cool about this program here, and one of the things that I'm most excited about and sharing with it. Now, there's several different features you have. You have uh, different favorites, uh, stuff that your friends might like, etc., etc. Um, there's several different categories that you can go through. The one thing you do need to watch out for is on 500px, sometimes you want to go in your settings and turn on or off nude photographs. They do do nudes, they're artistic nudes and photographic things. Hopefully, you're an adult um, and someone can handle that. But uh, what's really great is you can go through the photos, blow them up and be able to see them on a case-by-case -case basis and easily flip through them. Sometimes when I have tr trouble sleeping at night, I'll just sit and I'll just look through these photographs and I'll just flip through them with my iPad. And uh, it brings a bit of sense of peace to me sometimes. So let me tell you what's really cool. I just bought a 180, uh, 1080p uh, HDTV and the 500px my iPad is hooked into the 1080p uh, TV. I'm going to show you why that is. This is really cool. Now sometimes when I'm sitting and working, uh, it's kind of nice to have maybe some images working in the background that I might see and some beautiful music playing. And they give you plenty of controls here with the settings that are found on the 500px uh, iPad app. But uh, what's really neat, and you've also got share features of course, but what's really neat is I can go in here and I can create a slideshow. Now, there's a lot of different uh, app programs that can make a slideshow, but look what we have here. I can control the dissolve time for when we want to go through the photos. But check this out. I can also play, choose to play music. Now, what's awesome is I have the iTunes, um, I have the iTunes cloud program. You can probably see the cloud going by there. I paid the $2,500 or $25 for what is it a year or something like that. And uh, so what's really cool is the 500 app will tie into all the beautiful music that I have that I want to take and play. One of my favorite things is to play Liz Story with this because it's kind of peaceful. Uh, if you're not familiar with Liz Story, she has some very beautiful music. But let me show you how wonderful this is. This is playing through my big screen HDTV. And this can just play in the background. Maybe you're making dinner or, uh, you know, doing something that you you maybe don't want to really be involved with the TV but if you see something beautiful and listen to something beautiful it can kind of give you a peaceful uh, sort of environment in, in your surroundings what you want to enjoy so let's take a look at that so you kind of get a concept of what I'm talking about here this is a beautiful thing that can play in the background if you have like a business or something you could even set this up in your lobby as being a beautiful thing for people to be interested in and uh, it's just a very peaceful uh, you know thing that you can really enjoy and that's why I really love the 500px app um, the, the photos are just incredible you can of course uh, like if you want certain photos from the uh, app you can heart them favorite them you can also see some of the views and different things that you want uh, if you want to get into that, you can even leave comments. So it's a very great app. Here's some of the background that you can see on this photo. Um, it's a very great app for taking advantage of all these different things that are on the uh, the uh, iPad app. I highly recommend it, and be sure to check it out. 500 app on the iPad.